Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy Mack and today we are going to learn how to make templates using any image in Photoshop for the tapered 20 ounce skinny tumbler. Being that I wanted something American uh, to just kind of be patriotic after all of the events that have happened recently, I decided to Google flag constitution and eagle. As I'm going through the images, I'm just kind of clicking on ones that stand out. I like this one, but it's a really small image, so I'd have to stretch it. I would like to say using any image that you find online, um, you should not sell it unless you have the rights to it. You can be sued. So looking at this image here, I like this one, so I'm going to use it. I am using this for personal use. I will not be selling this image. Shout out to Daniel Hagerman. It looks like this is his image. So I'm just going to save it to a folder so that I can access it later. You can title it whatever you want. Moving over to Photoshop, this is the template that we're going to be using. This is the shape and dimension. The first thing I want to do is drag and drop the image into the canvas. So the image is on top. I like to have the image behind the template. So I'm just going to drag that up. And now the template is on top and the image is behind it. The problem is we can't actually see the image. What I like to do is turn the fill down so that I can see the shape of the template still, but also see the image behind it. And this is what I mean by that. We can see each edge of the template, but we can also see the image that's behind it. Now what we wanna do is reshape the image so that it completely covers the template. So control T on a Windows or command T on a Mac to select the image for resizing. We're gonna resize the length and the width evenly right now, just enough to cover the whole image. Now you can leave it like this if you want, but for me, this is not gonna work. If you look, some of the eagle's head is cut off and then we the people isn't completely on there. So what I'm gonna do is adjust the width without adjusting the height. So you need to select your image, Control T or Command T on a Mac. And turn off that link. That link is to ensure you resize the width and the height simultaneously, but we only want the width. So we'll deselect that and click the W and drag it down so that we are decreasing the width of the image. Be careful when decreasing or increasing the width and the height independent of one another because your image can become stretched. I'm now repositioning the image to where I want it to be on the tumbler and I'm going to slightly increase the height so that each corner of the template is covered by the image. Now we need the shape of the template. We're going to go to our magic wand tool on the template layer click it and now you see we have the dancing or marching ants around the shape of the template now we don't need the template but we do need the shape so what you want to do is while that's still selected click your image layer control C for Windows or command C for Mac to copy and then control V as in Victor to paste or command V for a Mac Now you see we have a new layer here. You can rename it if you'd like. I typically, I, t I typically rename my layer so that I don't get confused, but do what works for you. For the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna name it pasted control V so you know that's the layer that we pasted. Now let's turn off the visibility for the template layer because we don't need it anymore. And let's turn off the visibility for the actual image. And there you have it. Now we have our image cut out in the shape of the template. And this is all you have to do to make your templates using any image. I'm gonna show you guys the process one more time, a little bit faster without the training wheels for those of you who don't like to learn like that. And we'll start completely over. Remember starting with the image completely black, turn down the fill, drag and drop your image onto your canvas, resize now if you'd like or after you readjust your layers 
Now I'm gonna put the template on top and I'm gonna resize the image so that everything that I want to be on the tumbler is inside the template. Back on the template layer, use the magic wand tool to select the shape, then click your image layer, Control C or Command C to copy, Control V as in Victor, Command V as in Victor to paste. Rename the layer if you'd like, turn off your visibility for your template and for your original image. And there you have it. That's how you make a template for a 20 ounce skinny tapered tumbler using any image. From here, I'll export it as a PNG just so I have it for future reference, or you can print it directly from Photoshop. I use the Sawgrass SG-1000 and I print using the print manager and I've already recorded the video for that. So don't worry, it won't take forever. Now I was looking at this image, it was a little dull to me, so this is totally unrelated, but I added a curves layer, turned it down at the bottom and turned it up at the top just to add a little more depth. You don't have to do that. But I did want to show you guys how I altered the image just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what other content you'd like to see. Don't forget to dream big, love hard, make mistakes and have no regrets and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!